Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining as ever. This is Transfers and Rumours. Now with the season finished, or at least for us it's finished anyway, uh, the main thing to focus on is the Transfers and Rumours and when the fixtures are going to come out we'll talk about them etc. Um, so this is just going to be a quick one really. Like I said, we're hoping to get this on daily if we can find enough to speak about uh, regarding transfers and rumours of course on the Reds and players leaving the Reds and players potentially coming in uh, for the Reds. So that is the aim of this. So yes, uh, now this is more of a rumour but obviously I wanted to talk about it because it, it concerns our top goal scorer. Corley Woodrow. Now, it was heavily reported yesterday on a few Barnsley forums, Barnsley FC forums, that uh, we've apparently accepted a 2.5 million bid from West Bromwich Albion for our top scorer, Corley Woodrow. Um, now, obviously, I can't find too much detail in on in the mainstream uh, news or anything like that or on transfer rumour websites but from people who post things on there who might have a bit of insight into the club I just thought I'd mention it a little bit now Woodrow for me uh, was a player who since coming back from lockdown is not really in the nine games that we had hasn't really shone uh, for me, however, I do think it's still important that we do keep the likes of Corey Woodrow, that we do keep the likes of Alex Mowat. We've stopped in this league now. He's under contract. He's got 2022. I got a 2000. Is he under contract till 2022? So I don't see any reason, and especially for 2.5 million, he scored what 15 goals in a struggling side that were bottom of the league until the last. Well, in the bottom three till the last game of the season. And, you know, I, I read what some of our fans are saying, that they'll, they'll accept that. And I, I, can't fa I cannot fathom for the life of me why. It's almost as if we're just not... Did we forget what happened last year? Did we forget? He's under contract. Or at least, if he's going to, you're going to sell him, tell him, did we get it? Make him pay top whack. I'm telling you now. 2.5 million. Not for me. Certainly not for me. Especially selling your best your best player because here we go again, once again, and and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest about it. This is my view on it. I say I say I don't I don't care. Forget these nine games that's gone. He's a good goal scorer. You provide him with the service. He notches goals. So for me, no, you either pay, if you want him, you pay top whack and. West Brom, I'm not sure. I'm not, listen, they've been promoted to the Premier League, so obviously it's going to be a massive move for Corley. But in a realistic view, is he is he is he there yet? Is he Premier League quality? I wouldn't really be so sure. But for me, I, I think it's it'd be daft of us really, and he's certainly worth more than that in my opinion. It's certainly worth more than that. I just don't want to go down this road again. You know, he's under contract. It's not like he's got a year left. Is here till 2022, so for me, nah, nah, no, nah, nope. Uh, that's what I'd be saying, unless the, unless a very, very good offer comes, then unfortunately it's a no from me. But whether it's a true rumour or not, you don't know. It's still early days, it's still early days. We've, we've, we've barely got over what's happened, but uh, it's still early days and we, we, we move on. Listen, we're going to be in for many players. There's going to be rumours going for many players going out of the club as well. Um... I just hope, you know, that we keep the key players, you know, and, 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 and tempt them to stay. You show ambition to the to, to players who might be considering a move by keeping those best players. You know, like the likes of this striker who it don't look like we're going to get, but I'll use him as an example, this Lyndon Dykes. If he sees that we're saying no to Woodrow going, no to Mowat going, no, and he's going to think, well, they're, they're hanging on to their best players, this club's going places, and it attracts other players. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, I, I, for me, no, but obviously people will have their opinions on it. Uh, obviously, there's going to be other rumours coming out regarding players. Um, but uh, Woodrow, Woodrow, listen, he might not work his bag out like your Chaplins and your Browns and everything, but he has that eye for goal. You look at the goals he scored, the one against Brentford at home, the header against West Brom, the other goal against West Brom. You know, quality strikes. Um, and for me, it's it's definitely no, like I said. And I keep saying it, but I've got to try and think of something. You've got to keep your best players. You've got to keep them. Uh, if we'd have gone down, you know, I, I think it would have been uh, 
hard to keep hold of them. I think, you know, we'd have probably had to get shut, but we haven't gone down. So let's retain these players and let's build play it, build a team around your Mowats, your Woodrows. Um, and like I said, there's the makings of a very good team, I believe, over under Struber. So let's 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 have that little bit of ambition. Let's have it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But obviously, it's just a rumor. It might not be true. I might be sat here baffling about about absolutely nothing. But there we go. That's my little take on that, guys. I'm sure you guys will have your opinions on it. So I'm gonna go and enjoy my Sunday dinner. So thank you for watching, guys. Remember to give us a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you could, please. It really does help the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. You Reds.